Why would you need to go to a club with just your girls? You can say that your partner is your best friend. My best friend, I want to do everything. If I go to the store, I'm like, yo, come tag along with me. Because they're not accepting you for who you are. And I think it does ah. work both ways with women. Women are usually going to the club by themselves. And that's what I was doing in that relationship is I was going out with my friends because I could act like myself. And he always tried to repress who I was. And I was like crazy girl and like having fun and doing whatever I wanted. And he would always- it's pronounced for it. Yeah, I think that's why people go out separately because they want to be themselves without being judged. Okay. Ah, I get it. Here, here's the thing. <laughs> Do people expect there to be no changes or sacrifices in relationships anymore? Yeah. <laughs> like, I like going out with my friends and I like drinking and just flirting with a lot of guys. What, because I'm in a relationship, I don't get to do that anymore? Yes! <laughs> yes! That's what it means by relationship. You don't get to do that anymore. Yep. Also, here's the beauty too. Um, if most people... Grew up. Now, if everyone changed once they became mothers, there would be no crack babies, so it's not lost on me. But a lot of people realize it's so much more fulfilling to be home and have their children, and hey, mommy, daddy, right? Even watch a film with your kids, teach them something. That that means a whole lot more than going out and having sex on the beach shots. <laughs> but is that this, shot? is, this is me being my authentic self. Well, that's a bad self. It yeah. really is, and being judged, you should be judged. Yeah. I'm not saying that somebody's like, hey, I'm better than you. It's like, hey, there's a lot of, don't do that. You can, go and, have, you can go and have fun, by the way, with your yeah. girlfriends. But she said, I'm going out. I'm the crazy girl. I'm the fun girl uh, at the club. Which means you're probably crazier, uh, crazier than the other single women. And that's a really bad sign. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she sounds like she was referring to a previous boyfriend, which seems like that will be the case for a very long time. Yeah. I'm talking about the previous boyfriend. What do you guys think, yeah. Keith, Kevin? What if you're with a woman who's like, I, look, you, I, just, I just, you know, it's fine. You stay home. I'm going to go out with my girlfriends. I'm just going to dance and I'll come home at four. Well, I make the most of the situation, of course. So I do all the dirty, naughty things I wouldn't do mo to my real woman. You mean you'd find another oh, woman? She just, she's just a whore for you, huh? Yeah, that's what she is. <laughs> so you're like, can I just watch? <laughs> you're a sick you're <laughs> Sick human beings. The sick thing to do. Just women, taking advantage of her. <laughs> women out there, you think this is a productive... And then men, comment below if you would want to be in a relationship like that. Here's the thing. Men have not changed what they want out of women in a relationship. Yeah. Women have changed what they want. Women used to want to find a man, right? Oh, do I have the ring? That meant lock him down, right? Having monogamy, right? Having someone who can provide, protect. Now, men want a woman who is nice, who is supportive, who makes a house feel like a home where they come home and go, oh, safe haven. Guys, let me know. Uh, that's what men want. That's why billionaires marry waitresses. Yeah. Women now are, so I want to have a guy, so I want him to be, or maybe they're in an open relationship, in which case, why be in an open relationship at all? I mean, I don't know how many people are sleeping with your wife, Will Smith, but let's oh. go back to traditional <laughs> relationships here. Dang! Where women now, want, so I want a man, I want him to be ready to provide, protect, and serve for me, and then I want to be able to go out and do all the things that I also enjoyed when I was single. And I want him to be strong, I want him to be masculine, but I also want him to be sensitive, but not too sensitive, and I want him to pay for everything, even though I want to have equal rights on every single front. Also, um, I like to whore around a little bit. A little bit. That <laughs> seems like what she said. By the way, this girl, uh, the types of, I'm just guessing on the types of guys that she's going to bring in. Um, is it okay if those guys continue to go out and have guys nights where they go out and find random girls to hook up with and yes. just kind of sleep around and never do anything around their house? It's probably kind of a mess because they really don't spend a whole lot of time there. They're drunk most of the time. Can they do that and not pay any attention to you at all so that you can go out clubbing with your girlfriends? Because that seems like that would be the fair way to go because you don't want to judge him for being him. Right. Now, these guys are douchebags. Don't get me wrong, but you're a whore. Yes. So they're poor. <laughs> <laughs> I think it matters. That's very important. We don't need to skim over that. Look, douchebag. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Douchebag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whore. <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> whore. Now, d d whore. Douchebag. <laughs> Just want to make sure you're paying attention. That's what we used to call them. We used to call them cads. <laughs> It's a sad state of affairs. Here's where we are. 40% of young men will not get married ever. And now women in their 30s, I think it's about 60% are saying there are no men out there worth marrying. Well, because they don't want to marry that. Look, find a compromise. This is what we're talking about, the self-love. There's a compromise here. Of course, go out with your girlfriends. Of course, go out with your guy friends. That's fine. Go out, even if you guys time. want to go out to the pub, have a drink, have a sandwich, watch the, watch the sports game, whatever it is that you watch, the sports ball. You want to go out with your girlfriends, go to a movie, have a girl say, fine. But not if that's your identity. Right. That identity cannot be reconciled with that of a mother and a wife. Just like the identity of a man who wants to go out and sleep with every single person who he can find at the, does, it's not something that is congruent with being a father and a husband. That's it, it's that simple. The problem is men are still punished if they go out and live out their, their, their worst base instincts and women are praised for it. 
There's nothing praiseworthy there. That woman watching, it goes back to the, the open. You shouldn't love yourself. You have a lot of things <laughs> about yourself that you should dislike. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.